to turn just that into a Mark II Escort. I don't think anyone even needs an introduction to Mike Brewer. He co-hosted the show Wheeler Dealers with Ant Anstead and Ed China. Despite the cast changing frequently, Mike is the only guy throughout the show. Are you as interested as I am, looking into his car collection or knowing what he's doing now? Watch this video till the end to know all about this. In October 2003, Mike was offered a TV show on Discovery Channel. Nobody knew it was going to be a career-changing offer for him. Wheeler Dealers was initially released with Mike Brewer and Ed China as the hosts. It was a big hit and this duo got a ton of love. The show even released its spin-off in 2013. The name of the spin-off was Wheeler Dealers, trading up. In the spin-off, we could see Mike traveling worldwide to buy and sell several cars. When we thought the show was running smoothly, Ed China left it in its 13th season. The viewers were confused and unhappy with Ed leaving the show. Later, Ed China himself revealed that he had quit as he was unhappy with the show's pattern. Viewers did not take the news very well and started sending death threats to Mike and his family. In spite of the controversies, Mike continued the show with his best efforts. In 2017, Ant Anstead started co-hosting the show with Mike Brewer. Though it almost seemed impossible that viewers would like Ant, they did. The bromance between Ant and Mike increased viewers' interest. Even the biggest TRPs of the show were back when Ant and Mike were co-hosting together. Sadly, even this duo did not last very long. After three years, Wheeler's Dealers' production decided to return to the UK and Ant was not ready for this. Ant did not want to leave California because he was sharing custody of his kid with his ex-wife. Viewers certainly did not see that coming. Even after losing his best friend, Ant, Mike still went on and carried on with the show. Mike has been a part of the same show for 20 years. He now hosts a show with Mark Elvis Priestley. When it comes to his personal life, Mike is very sorted. He has been happily married to Michelle since 1992. They both have established a beautiful family of three with a daughter. Wheelers Dealers isn't the only show that Mike appears on. He's been a part of many shows. Deals on Wheels, Pulling Over, Driven, Auto Trader and The World's Greatest Cars. Besides these things, Mike is also popular for one more thing. Can you guess it? If your answer was his car collection, then you're right. It is a big question for everyone what a veteran car dealer keeps in his garage. The first thing he has in his garage is a Ford Ranger Raptor, which Mike considers his fantastic tool. That of course makes sense because he has moved houses and businesses at the back of his Ranger Raptor. Next comes the Land Rover Defender, which he is mainly seen using to avoid bumpy and muddy roads as he lives in the countryside. Another beauty in his garage is the 1982 Porsche he bought from an American airline pilot. It was just an SC, but after a ton of modification, he designed a unique car. It is obviously not 964, but it looks quite similar. He's owned this car for about 4-5 to five years now. Next we have the SC Resto Mod Porsche 912E. This beauty is a 1976 model. It has a flat 4 injection, 86 bhp and a 915 gearbox. Moving on we have the Porsche 928 which is a 1979 Porsche. It has a 5 litre V8 and automatic 240 bhp. The next car we can see in his garage is a 1959 MGA which has an MGB 1.8 engine, twin SU carbs and approximately 100 bhp. Then we have the MK1 Ford Transit, which has the ex-German fire service, converted RHD and 1.7 litres V4. Though these sound like a lot, he has gotten a lot more in his garage than these. And what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, do let us know by dropping a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to make sure you get all such videos.